Well, hello everyone and welcome to GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Kent and in this video I'm going to work a few practice problems that demonstrate how to determine the empirical and the molecular formula from percent composition data. Now if you haven't yet watched our video lesson on this topic, I suggest watching that first and you may also wish to go to GetChemistryHelp.com and print out the PDF worksheet of these problems so you can follow along with me as I work them out. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in here. So number one says, a bright orange crystalline substance is analyzed and determined to have the following mass percentages. It's 17.5% sodium, 39.7% chromium, and 42.8% oxygen. It wants to know what is the empirical formula. Okay, well as we saw in our lesson, our first step is to assume 100 grams. And that's nice because it just turns all of these percentages into grams. So 17.5% of a 100 gram sample would be 17.5 grams of sodium. 39.7% chromium would be 39.7 grams of chromium. And 42.8% oxygen would be 42.8 grams oxygen. Well, the empirical formula is not the mass ratio, so we can't use mass to mass to mass, but the empirical formula is the simplest whole number mole ratio. So we need to turn mass into mole. So we know how to do that. We use molar mass. So I find the molar mass of sodium, and it's right here. There's 22.99 grams per mole of sodium. So 22.99 grams in a mole of sodium. So my grams cancels, and that leaves me 0 0.761 moles of sodium. Well, how about mass into moles for chromium? Well, chromium lives right here. There's 52.0 grams per mole of chromium. So 52.00 grams in a mole of chromium. So cancel out mass, that leaves me 0 0.763 moles of chromium. How about oxygen? Well, oxygen has a molar mass of 16.00. So I divide the mass of oxygen by the molar mass, 16.00 grams per mole oxygen. Mass cancels, and that leaves me 2.68 moles of oxygen. Well this is not our simplest whole number ratio so we need to do what's called write a pseudo formula. So I'm going to write sodium with that number of moles 0.761, chromium with its number of moles 0.763, oxygen 2.68. Well our first step to try to get whole numbers is we're going to divide them all by the smallest. So the smallest is 0.761. So I'm going to divide them all by 0 0.761. 0 0.761. 0 0.761. So when I do that, that gives me NaCrO and right about three and a half. Okay, well I still don't have whole number ratio. Well, as we saw in our lesson, whenever something ends in a half, the best way to get rid of a half is to multiply the entire formula by two because three and a half is basically seven halves. So when I do that, I get Na2Cr2O7. So this would be the empirical formula or the smallest whole number ratio of moles in this formula. So two moles of sodium for every two moles of chromium for every seven moles of oxygen. In our next sample problem, in our next practice problem, it says a sample of cisplatin, which is an anti-cancer drug, is 65.02% platinum, 9.34% nitrogen, 2.02% hydrogen, and 23.63% chlorine. What is the empirical formula? So same thing, we assume we have 100 grams, so that means 65.02 grams of platinum, 9.34 grams of nitrogen, 2.02 .02 grams of hydrogen, 
and 23.63 grams of chlorine. Well, again, we don't want the mass ratio. We, we, we want the mole ratio. So I turn the mass into moles using molar mass. So platinum is right here, has a molar mass of 195.1. So 195.1 grams in a mole platinum. So that gives me 0 0.3333 moles of platinum. Nitrogen, its molar mass is 14.01 right over here. So 14.01 grams in a mole of nitrogen. So I cancel out my grams. And that leaves me 0 0.667 moles of nitrogen. Hydrogen, its molar mass is right here, 1.01. .01. So 1.01 .01 grams in a mole of hydrogen. Cancel mass, and that gives me 2.00 moles of hydrogen. Chlorine, we find it over here in the halogens. 35.45 is the molar mass of chlorine. So 35.45 grams per mole chlorine. Cancel mass, and that leaves me 0 0.6666 moles of chlorine. Yet our next step is to write a pseudo formula with all of these. So platinum 0.3333 nitrogen 0.667 hydrogen 2.00 and chlorine 0.6666 Well our next step to try to get the smallest whole number ratio is to divide them all by the smallest. Well, the smallest is platinum, 0.3333. So I'll divide them all by 0 0.3333. So divide all of them and let's see what this gives us. And that leaves me PT into H6Cl2. So the empirical formula of cis platinum would be PT into H6Cl2. Number three. Now in this one, it wants us to find the empirical and the molecular formula. So you might recall the molecular formula is always some multiple of the empirical formula. So the empirical formula is the smallest whole number ratio. The molecular formula is the actual number of atoms present. So we're going to find the formula of resorcinol. So it's 65.44% carbon, 5.49% hydrogen, 29.06% oxygen, and its molar mass, which is the mass of the molecular formula, is about 110 grams per mole. Okay, well, same steps to start. Turn them all into grams by assuming 100 grams. So 65.44 grams carbon. 5.49 grams hydrogen and 29.06 grams of oxygen. Well, again, we don't want the mass ratio. We want the mole ratio. So turn them all into moles. So the molar mass of carbon we saw was 12.01 grams per mole carbon. So that gives me 5.4 four, nine moles of carbon. The molar mass of hydrogen off the periodic table is 1.01 .01 grams per mole hydrogen. So cancel grams and we get 5.44 moles of hydrogen. And oxygen has a molar mass of 16.00 right here. So 16.00 grams per mole oxygen. Cancel grams. And that gives me 1.816 moles of oxygen. So we write our pseudo formula. C, 5.449. H, 
5.44 oh 1.816 well we divide them all by the smallest which is 1.816 and that gives me C3 H3 O so this is the empirical formula. So this is the smallest whole number ratio. Well, we also want to know the molecular formula. So again, the molecular formula is always some multiple of this. So it could be this times one, times two, times three, times some whole number. Well, the way we find that is we find the mass of the empirical formula and compare it to the molar mass, which is the mass of the molecular formula. Okay, so what's the mass of C3H3O? Well, three carbons, three hydrogens, and one oxygen. We can add those up. So every carbon weighs 12.01. That's a total of 36.03. Every hydrogen weighs 1.01. That's a total of 3.03. .03. And every oxygen is 16.00. So we add those all together, and I get the molar mass to be 55.06. So again, this is the mass of the empirical formula. Well, how does this mass compare to the mass of the molecular formula? Well, 110 divided by 55.06, that's basically twice. So if the mass is twice, the formula must be twice. So we take the empirical formula and multiply it by two. So the molecular formula must be C6H6O2. So this would be the molecular formula of resorcinol. Number four says that caffeine contains 49.5% carbon, 5.15% hydrogen, 28.9% nitrogen, and 16.5% oxygen by mass. And the molar mass of caffeine is about 195 grams per mole. And the problem wants to know what are the empirical and molecular formulas of carbon. So again, we turn percentage into mass. So 49.5 grams of carbon, 5.15 grams of hydrogen, 28.9 grams of nitrogen, and 16.5 grams per oxygen. Well, the ratio for the formula is the mole ratio, so we turn mass into mole using molar mass. So carbons on the periodic table is 12.01. That gives me 4.12 moles of carbon. Hydrogen is 1.01 .01 grams per mole hydrogen. So that gives me 5.10 moles of hydrogen. Nitrogen, according to the periodic table, is 14.01 grams per mole nitrogen. Gives me 2.06 moles of nitrogen. And oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole oxygen which is 1.03 moles of oxygen. Well, we write our pseudo formula, C4.12, hydrogen 5.10, N 2.06, oxygen 1.03. Well, these aren't whole numbers, so we try to get there by dividing them all by the smallest, which is 1.03. So that leaves me C4H5N2O. Okay, so this is our empirical formula. This is the smallest whole number ratio of atoms. Well, we want to know the molecular formula. So we have to compare the mass of this formula to the molar mass, which is the mass of the molecular formula. So we add up the four carbons the five hydrogens, the two nitrogens, and the one oxygen. 
So carbon again is 12.01. That's a total of 48.04. Five hydrogens, those are 1.01, .01, so that's a total of 5.05. .05. Two nitrogens, those are 14.01 each. So that's 28.02. And one oxygen is 16.00, so 16.00. Add them all up, and I get 97.11 is the mass of the empirical formula. Well, how does that compare to the mass of the molecular formula? Well, 195 divided by 97.11 is basically 2. So again, the molecular formula must be twice the empirical formula. So we take the empirical formula and multiply it by 2. So the molecular would be C8H10N4O2. So this would be the molecular formula of caffeine. Well, I hope you enjoyed these practice problems on determining the formula from percent composition. As always, be sure and click below on the subscribe button so you can be notified as soon as new lessons are posted. And we'll see you back here next time at GetChemistryHelp.com. Thank you.